Hey, good morning, everybody. I guess whatever time it is where you're watching. I know Katie and I like watching people hiking while we're sitting in our living rooms doing nothing, you know, cruising the internet or whatever in the evening. You know what I mean? Um, day number five is what we're on. A uh, couple, we ended, we ended up staying in... Uh, at Trey Mountain Shelter, and we uh, we're about a mile northbound of there right now. Um, we got out this morning, right around eight, like seven seven fifty six, seven fifty seven is when we left. We didn't stay in the shelter; we stayed um, in the campsite. Uh, we ran into a couple uh, other guys, um, and that we've kind of run into over the last four days, and. Uh, <sighs> just kind of camped around them it was crazy they're like this is the first time we stayed at a shelter and there were probably I don't know 30 tents and everything was packed and it was kind of a kind of a gross place man people were coughing there was the privy stank <laughs> all the all the superlatives of like being around a bunch of human beings um, people washing their washing their food out in their, you know, in the water source, like, out of their food pots and stuff. Um, just all the good stuff. But, um, anyway, we're glad to be out of there without, like, a sniffling nose, hopefully. Uh, we used a lot of, uh, hand sanitizer and, uh, sat next to a little fire for about an hour while we ate dinner last night. It was pretty nice. So... Can't complain about much there, um, but yeah, staying at the shelter, especially at this time. I mean, people really, people are really packed in. And uh, so yesterday we passed 50 miles, our 50 mile mark, uh, right around Blue. I want to say it was right around Blue Mountain Spring, is the uh, 50 mile mark on the AT. Yeah, on, on the AT. Um, and then, where are we today? So we're heading down Trey Mountain Shelter. We're gonna go through Dick's Gap. We're 20 miles. Uh, the Trey Mountain Shelter is 20 miles south of the uh, of the Georgia border. So I don't think we're gonna shoot for the Georgia border, but I think we're gonna stay. We're gonna get like a dispersed campsite somewhere um, just south of the border, and then cross the border first thing in the morning and uh, say sayonara to, to beautiful Georgia. Georgia's been amazing just a beautiful state it's got a great uh, really great trail community they take the trails are, are insanely clean well maintained have great signage um, and uh, Georgia as a state just should be proud of itself I mean the the trail magic was great there were tons of uh, tons of people um, day hiking and uh, you know doing some backpacking and I, I think that's always a mark of, of a of kind of like the state and the and the culture of the state so um, seeing that people are, are taking advantage of you know of the US forests and the um, you know the state parks and and all that good stuff um, it's better than you know doing what I like to do and that's sit at home eat popcorn and uh, Snickers ice cream bars while I watch other people hike all over the country. <laughs> anyway, we'll check in later. Oh yeah, and here's a here's a quick view just coming from where where I was shooting. It's just nice. We're gonna, you know, I've got, I've got Katie Katie on my six, and uh, oh, <laughs> yep. And then we're gonna head up this hill here, and it's great um, for the. 30 or 40 people that were there at the shelter, um, only maybe maybe two or three campsites had cleared out by the time we got out. So it's nice to kind of get ahead. And we're supposed to get a storm today, so people are making plans to jump off trail. So anyway, all right. So what is, so there are a lot of features to the, Appalachian Trail, all right? Um, you know, people say it's it's really long, 
It's 2,200 miles. It's beautiful. It's got a green tunnel. There's five, you know, 500 miles through Virginia. And what I mean by green tunnel is after this season, you're in the tunnel. If you've ever been in the East Coast hardwoods, it's humid in the summertime and hot. Lots of insects. Owls will keep you up at night. Last night we had <laughs> we had owls having a mating ritual in our campsite, which was interesting. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't want to detract people from hiking this trail, but the first thing that everybody notices right off the top, the first major feature is this. It's the climbing. And, and it's the downhill. And if you're not prepared for it, you're fine. People support you. So, yeah, the first apparent feature is the climbing. Um, you're gonna be climbing all the time. You know, uh, somebody on Reddit a while ago did a, an analysis of, you know, what the, what the uh, total climb was. And I think he said it was over a million feet, million vertical feet. So not to detract you, because you should come out. And, I'll, and I'm impressed with a lot of the people who are out here just hammering down and grinding, grinding away. Um, you know, be one of those people. But on the other side of it, if you go into it knowing you're gonna be climbing over a million feet, uh, you don't need to check your guidebook and your app, and your gut hooks app, every time you start a climb or when you're halfway through it. And um, I get it at the end of the day. It's been a long day and you need to know how high you're going and uh, where you're at. And that might be, you know, that might be a good thing to check. But at that point, but if you're looking every couple minutes, I mean, you're really going to just make this hike unbearable. You know, just, I think, getting your mindset to, to where you figure out how to enjoy something like going uphill is important. I know for me, um, I've just kind of I like going uphill, so I kind of have a psychological advantage. Um, and uh, I think I just set myself up that way. I, re I started realizing in life that everything I wanted to do, whether it's skiing or going out to check out a big view, um, you know, or flying, you know, it all requires a massive climb. And, uh, you know, I don't mind doing the work. So, just something to think about. So, another thing we were talking about today was routine, and uh, happy birthday to my father-in-law, Gary. It's his birthday today. Um, Katie went and called her dad, and he was out golfing, and then they go to, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the crab, the crab cake factory for drinks at table 11. Um, that's their Monday routine, and uh, Katie mentioned how great it is that we were able to put ourselves into a routine really quick and uh, that we also forgot <clears throat> our regular routine that we do at home, which I really right now 
don't even know what that is. I mean, I know it has something to do with getting up in the morning and getting things going. Um, but yeah, our new routine has turned into uh, just just kind of the, the daily hiking routine. We, um, we get up and, um, you know, we change out of our, our clothes, our night clothes, pack all of our stuff up, or, you know, put in our day clothes, pack all of our stuff up, but when we get on the trail, um, we figure out where our water sources are and make decisions on how far we want to hike. And, and, um, and recently we've, we, we really haven't been planning miles or anything like that. We've just been putting, pushing for whatever feels right for the day. So that's, that's part of what our routine is, but we'll talk about more of that, um, later. For now, we're just climbing and we're, um, on our way to the, uh, to the Dix Creek, um, I think it's Dix Creek Gap, and uh, there's a hostel there that we're not going to. I think it's a couple miles off the gap. Um, it sounds like there's going to be some people staying there tonight uh, that we've heard of in the out behind us, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on trucking. We're probably going to stop there, have some lunch, and then go a little bit longer and see what we want to do for the rest of the day. <clears throat> well, what an interesting afternoon that was. We, uh, we were hiking down to Dick's Gap from Trey Mountain Shelter, which is 10 miles. And this uh, lady named Airout from uh, Germany came cruising by. And uh, we were checking our cell phones and she said, <clears throat> and she said, do you know what's, uh, what the hostel is at the next crossing? I wanna go get lunch. And Katie was looking at her gut hooks and it, it was the, um, top of the Georgia hostel and so we um yeah we kind of pointed her in the direction and uh, we did know that today it was supposed to rain and we've been waiting for the rain now for I don't know since since the day we started like it's been like known um information that that Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be rainy, but I looked at my radar this morning, literally my radar app, and it showed that it was like I was tracking the, the storm, and it looked like it was only going to really hit at 2 o'clock, and um, sure enough, we ended up giving them a call and seeing if they had showers, and they did, and, uh, you know, you get on the trail for quite a few days, and you start to stink, so... You do what you can to stay clean, but uh, we decided we'd roll on in there with uh, air out and, uh, you know, hit some showers. We grabbed a pizza, a couple of hot dogs, a couple of sodas, charged all of our stuff up. I mean, it was amazing. People were super nice. Um, yeah, learned a lot. Uh, a guy named Atlas is in there, and I know everyone knows, knows who he is, and um, he kind of just, you know, filled us in on what's going on, and then a couple of our buddies, uh, James and uh, uh, James and Joey, we camped with them last night at Trey Mountain Shelter, and. Uh, had dinner with them around their fire and uh they 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 ended up cruising in during the rainstorm we got the, right as we got there it stopped raining it was great um the showers man can't beat that they were a little you know showers are showers i mean they're 10 bucks and um katie said she would have paid two dollars just to wash her hands so 
she she originally didn't want to do it we she didn't even know how much the showers cost she's like i don't want to pay anything for a shower like let's just let's just you know hike across the gap and like continue on up the mountain because we're only from dick's gap to the georgia carolina border it's only uh 10 minutes or 10 minutes it's 10 miles and um so yeah we ended up uh we ended up staying there waiting out the storm and then atlas showed back up from running a group down to the local town and then he just shot us a ride right back to the gap and uh yeah right as we got out of his van it stopped raining so yeah here we are wet trail um the, the forest has a little bit more color in it right now but yeah it's just been you know just more of the same just amazing um fun trail experience a lot of cool people and uh now we're on our way to i, I believe it's uh peach orchard shelter campsite and we're either going to camp there a little bit we're either going to camp at the peach orchard campsite um shelter campsites or we're going to go a little bit past it and see if we can't round up like some uh you know some just regular camping along the trail somewhere uh, so anyway that's just kind of how today transpired as far as weather it looks like the weather is going to be uh clearing out today or this evening um and then tomorrow i think it's supposed to be nice i'll have to check the weather later when i get a signal but yeah good afternoon
forgot to mention, Katie's wearing my shirt because she, uh, we washed our clothes when we took our separate showers. I washed my clothes, she washed hers, and I happened to bring a set of clothing. Yeah, I have, I have clothes for everybody. A full, full stinking wardrobe.